Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. I just am about to uh, package an order. I am doing a mystery box. Uh, so I love doing that because it's like I get to pick out what I have in the store. Um, sometimes it's like not on the catalog. And so I get to just kind of like share that with y'all. Uh, it would always be up to value to the, the standard that you choose it to be. Um, so what I'm doing today is also uh, repotting this much needed uh, coffee plant. I love coffee and so I got a little coffee plant uh, to just kind of like match uh, match me and like my little like home and everything. So I keep this near a west facing window. Um, it gets like bright di like direct light for about four hours of it of the day. And then it dims out to like very like uh, mild lighting, so it's it's not like super harsh on it. Uh, I do find it does need a little bit of humidity here and there uh, to just kind of help it out. So I'll put I'll pop it into my uh, studio, and then it'll, it'll it'll be good. And it's really growing a lot, as you can see here. And so I'm just gonna pop it into this little container and just um, see it grow. This is like the roots, as you can see, they're like coming out, so it's much needed to be potted up. All right, so I'm using soil from the store, um, and I have amended it a little bit with uh, vermic. And I have amended it a little bit with vermiculite as well, um, just to because I'm seeing a lot of really good like um, growth when I'm using vermiculite and I think this would uh, appreciate vermiculite all that extra drainage so I'm squishing around the, the pot right here so it could loosen up making sure those roots at the end oh my god <sighs> poor little guy okay so I'm just like moving the 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 plants a little bit so that way the the roots will know where to go and like uh, get bigger So a little care guide for your coffee plant. Um, west facing window, bright and direct light. I like to do waterings like once or once every two weeks. Or if it starts to show uh, like it's dry on top, I'll definitely uh, go ahead and water it. And give it and give it a full like thorough watering so the water like actually comes out of the, the bottom of the soil. Um, and yeah. I've, I've, I've kept this plant for maybe half a month and it's grown pretty well so it's one of my favorites that I have here so it's it's I definitely want to see it grow larger like I joke around that I'm gonna get coffee beans out of it but you know <laughs> you never know all right until tomorrow everyone Hi everyone, I hope you all have been joining my new, my new videos. I'm trying to put out as much uh, videos that I can. Um, also, because I have a lot of things to do, so you'll be seeing a lot, of a lot of videos. So I recommend you just turn on those notifications if you'd like to see more, more of uh, videos on what I'm doing. So today I'm just kind of like relaxing. I've got a lot of orders that I've uh, packaged and um, and I really like the the mystery boxes that you guys have chosen. I it's one of my favorites. I get to choose uh, a couple good plants for y'all, and um, I I always I always feel like it leaves a nice good smile on everybody whenever um, I choose some some really fun plants. So you never know; it could be something that's not even on the catalog.
when I was cleaning and organizing, I um, found my seeds that I'm starting. So if y'all can see there, I'm trying to start out, start off this little uh, seed from apples that I was eating. And I was like, well, might as well try. And here it is. It's so cool. So I'm going to put this in a little container um, and then just see where it goes. That's kind of cool. And also to end this week's vlog, um, I'm going to show y'all how I am going to split propagate my philodendron uh, jungle boogie. So I have, I have I needed to do that and so I'm going to show y'all um, how, to, how to do that. Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, so I'm going to split my philodendron uh, jungle boogie. If you see close up right over here, you can see there's two um, sections where I will be separating them from. There's this whole section right here, and then there's this whole section right here. So these two will be coming apart and making a whole new plant from that. So first we want to aerate this top layer. I already have my soil mixture ready. Um, if you follow my videos, uh, it's the one I use for my shop. Uh, it has perlite, worm castings, uh, also a little bark. Um, I do amend it with willow and then I also add a 10 10 10 slow release fertilizer because I tell everybody I'm just really honest like I don't like to water it's one of my plant chores I don't like to do so I like to set up everything to fit my watering routine and like really like there's no shame in it like overall you're just trying to do what's best for you and also your plant so that's uh, the way to I believe it should be go it should go you know don't stress about it easy peasy just gotta know how to set it up try not to damage the roots um, pretty simple let's try to pop them out As you see here, there's all these roots ready for it to split. Um, it's still in that in its own growing medium, and there's roots already coming on top, so it definitely needs to be propagated in, or in some or something. So what I um, am going to do is place my finger. If you see right here, my thumb goes right in the middle, and then we split gently and as you're splitting um, this allows the plant to know uh, where its roots are going like to which plant so we're trying to save as much roots as we can right here You can also mount these just like this and then just put your like like if you're mounting a staghorn fern um, they'll they'll thrive like that I haven't done it but I've seen other people do it and it looks pretty cool so this is the part where it gets a little tricky because you're trying to be as gentle as possible with your plant So what I try to do is try to find the base of the plant and kind of gently wiggle them apart from each other until I can feel them se gently separate themselves apart. What we're trying to do is trying to keep everything intact as much as possible. So you're trying to save as many of the roots. I tend to close my eyes. I don't know why, but I tend to close my eyes and I um, have a better way of understanding the plant that way if that makes any sense
and then I just try to find the roots where it's coming from and pull apart. And here we are. As you see, there's two brand new philodendrons. Um, you will have a little shock. So what I recommend uh, is to just kind of keep a good eye on them uh, throughout this process. And as you see here, um, I'm not gonna, you know, cover anything, but like there's a little leaf that is lost. So there will be a little damage and that's to be expected, um, but it's, it's fine. So placing one of them back into here. There's one. Now I gotta fill up the other one and be done.
there's a second one. I just love their leaf. Little cute leaf. And then there's this new little growth that's coming from it as well. So that's really exciting. So here they are everyone. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making this video for y'all uh, and I really love philodendrons and I really love the jungle boogie. It's one of my favorites. It's also super easy uh, to take care of and it's super rewarding. I'm always putting out a new leaf. So um, it's always a great one to gift to people uh, that are starting out their journey and want something kind of like cool and funky and easy to care for so i recommend uh definitely recommend one of these i'm actually going to gift this one to my friend whenever he comes into town so i hope you all love like my uh my vlog this week um i'm keeping things really like uh short but like interesting and i really hope y'all like them um i'll be putting out more videos out um trying out a new schedule i hope y'all like it uh, i'm doing random videos on also on the weekends so if y'all like to put on that notification for um the videos that i'll be putting out that'd be great I'll take care y'all are awesome peace everyone bye <laughs>